So typical Tuesday morning, I was up spending some time reading, checking out some videos online, and I came across one that really hit home for me, to the point where I wanted to make it the central theme for this week's video. And basically it was a short monologue by Robin Sharma. Uh, for those who don't know him, he's a sharp guy, he's got a lot of content on the internet. And what he said specifically that caught my attention was that to have the results that only 5% get, you need to have the guts to do what only 5% are willing to do. Uh, and this really got the wheels turning in my head because there are only so many ways you can articulate personal courage, you know, only so many ways you can talk about being fearless. But in my eyes, this puts it in the perfect context because it shines a direct light on the fact that success and overcoming social fears are directly linked. And I'm sure as you walk through this thought process, the concept will resonate with you. Right, 95% of people live for Friday. Immediate pleasures like TV, fast food, drinking, you know, these are things that are commonplace in society, in the world we live in. And I'm not, you know, standing here pointing a finger saying it's inappropriate. You know, my message goes deeper than that. What I'm saying is that if you want to be at the top in whatever it is that you do, right, or as Robin alluded to, the 5%, you have to sacrifice some of these pleasures that the greater population indulges in. And this is where the guts comes in. Because anytime you deviate from a norm, anytime you put yourself above a social standard, people do not like it. It becomes personal, which results in criticism, the cynical outlook, or the haters, as you know we commonly refer to it today. And that's not easy. It's never easy walking one way when the larger group is walking another. That's not rocket science. But it's also why so few people can do it. Let's face it, if you're going to do something of significance, you need to expect negativity. People trying to tear down what you're building up. Because like it or not, that's just how the world reacts. And the way I see it is that you can handle it a few ways. Right, you can live your life in a way that conforms, you can shy away from that criticism, or just take it head on. You know, learn to accept it, thrive on it. Because you'll never be able to please everybody. You know, so why not have the courage to do what you believe in? Have the guts to be called abnormal. Take it as a compliment. I've mentioned before that the way you perceive something makes or breaks you. Think about how powerful that statement is in this context. You can look at the negativity, the haters, as a reason to change your approach, throw the towel. Or you can see it as a sign of progress, an anticipated part of your journey. You can use it as a building block or a stepping stone for further success. Those are two polar opposite outcomes, by the way. All derived from how you choose to internalize the world around you. When you get through it all, you'll be happy you hung in. I can promise you that. That you have the guts to look past the norms and your surroundings. That you have the guts to be something different. <laughs>